Okay, it's uh, just coming up to 10 past 7 in the morning at uh, Tinsley Park shooting range. As you can see, there's no wind so far. Looks like it's going to be a nice day. It's forecast uh, for some showers later on, not till uh, around 12 o'clock onwards. So I'm going to get some shooting done. And today I've bought the Webley Lightweight. It was custom team by uh, Phil Crampton of Ratworks. Uh, like the, uh, the hats in Gladius, this was a, a fussy rifle when I first had it and it actually needed a barrel changing on it. Uh, but it only used to seem to like Aeron's pellets, but after it was regulated, it wasn't so pellet fussy anymore. Maybe the shot consistency helps, I don't know, but it's uh, quite a nice little carbine. Uh, I'll see. Uh, it looks quite stubby. I've not got any uh, moderator on it today. But that's it. Actually made by uh, Axa originally, so Frederick Axelson would have had something to do with it, I'm sure. It was made for Webley by uh, the actual company at the time. So, I've uh, got the shooting bench set up and I'm going to see what the zero is at 30 yards. I'll use Zero Arms Diablo pellets uh, and then we'll just go on from there. Right, this is the uh, Webley light waiting for me. Uh, I've got fitted on it today the uh, PSA 6x24x56 scope. Uh, it's a side uh, side focus uh, on it. I'll be using the uh, the air arms for it to start off with, and I'll try a few more. Uh, the range will be uh, zero, and that will be 30 yards. Uh, I've got a feeling it was zeroed in a bit further than that, so the point of uh, impact might be uh, different to where I'm aiming at but I'm looking at groups again rather than uh, where it's hitting to start off with as soon as I get a nice group then I can uh, start zeroing it in but we'll start off it's now just coming up to half past seven there's no wind so that's good so we get a good assessment uh, so we'll get on with the test that's perfect Okay, start the test. Group. About a five pence piece in size. That's the first string of eight shots. 
I'll do another. Actually, that was seven. Huh. That was the first seven shots. Uh, miscounted that. <coughs> so I put eight in, and that'll give you a good idea of the uh, grouping. There's still no wind, which is good. Uh, right, it's one big ragged hole. Do a couple of adjustments on the scope. Uh, that is ten times magnification at the moment. I need to go up. I'll give it uh, three clicks up. And I'll give it one click left. And hopefully that will be where it needs to be. I'll put a fresh target up and we'll see if we can uh, knock the bull out. Okay, not a bad result. Uh, it's a five pence pea size there, so pretty pleased with that one. So, load a magazine of eight. We'll see if the adjustments I've made on the rifle will warp the pellets into where they need to be. These have always been a good pellet for the most rifle barrels. Okay, target number two. Vertically, it's about right, so uh, the only thing you've got to do is shove it across to the left a bit more. Only give it one mil dot, uh, one click last time. So, do one more, see if that, uh, that makes a difference. So, the second shot, uh, magazine of eight, and hopefully. Get it all in the centre just for an idea of size if you look at the uh, the target <coughs> the uh, you've got a red ring or the yellow outer ring so that is a five pence piece size so that gives you some perspective on uh, the size of the pellets and the size of the group Right.
Go one click up. Put one more card up. Uh, and then uh, we'll move on. Okay, so moved it across. I brought it up another clip this time, so hopefully we're more into the ball. But, uh, it's getting there. That's uh, target number three. This is what we saw before. That's the uh, that's the target down there. So. Load up. I'll do two more magazines worth. I know for that'll be it then. The wind is slightly picking up. Yeah, I learnt, I learnt that uh, getting up early, you can beat the wind because the wind tends to pick up once the uh, once the, uh, the temperature warms up on the ground. Yeah. So, let's do the next one. Eight. eight. Right, it's zeroed and the wind's the wind's definitely blowing. Uh, I'll just show you that what it's doing from the range flag. And it's picking up because the uh, the warm air's uh, causing that. Now it's uh, zeroed in. I've uh, charged the rifle up again. The wind is still blowing left to right, so I might have to aim off slightly. But well, I've got reactive targets set up at uh, 35, 40, 45, and 50 yards. So what I'll be doing now is try and work out the uh, the old oak for those different uh, ranges. The uh, different to the uh, the 177 I've got, it's not as flat so definitely different old overs for those ranges. Alright, there we go. So the first target is uh, 35. Right, uh, four 
Okay. I guess it's two mil lots at 45. Two. Two. Yeah, two mil lots, probably. Yeah, three mil lots. And a mil dot to the right. So 50 is uh, three mil dots. And with the wind at the moment, it's a mill dot to the right. So, give that another go at 50 C, see so if it's still the same. Just a little bit. It's actually low in the ground, so. Actually hitting it, but I must be hitting it. Just catching it. Ah, that's it. Three and a half mil dots, and I made, I aimed at it that time. Yeah, three and a half mil dots at 50 yards. So once you know where the point of aim is, you should be able to hit it every time. Not bad, 50. So yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. So that's three and a half mil dots at 50 yards. Nice little carbine this. I actually bought it because uh, it was a limited edition, supposedly. Um, but it's, uh, it was quite frustrating when I first got it because it wasn't shooting right and it turned out it needed a new barrel. But it's still quite pallet fussy. Air arms it likes the best but uh, once I had it regulated by full cramps and it's, uh, it's not been so bad. It will shoot a lot more varieties but it's still the best for the air arms. So uh, it won't be lightweight, you shoot shooting spot on. <laughs> 